guys welcome to our SLGIS assistant youtube channel first of all thank you all for being joined in with this channel so far today i'm going to explain you about preparation of rainfall maps and analyzing monsoon rains here you can see the first map shows the first inter monsoon rainfall from march to april in sri lanka and second map shows inter monsoon rainfall from may to september in sri lanka by preparing various maps for all monsoon you can do further analyze rainfall and it will help you to take these analyses to agriculture purposes and other projects in your country so please wait until the end of this video to take a better experience in analyzing rainfall data first you have to collect rainfall data in your interested area from meteorological department in here i have prepared sample data sheet manually for this analyzing purposes then divided it into two monsoon this is the first monsoon rainfall data sheet i have collected the location and the xy coordinate and average rainfall of first monsoon this is the second monsoon rainfall data sheet here also i have collected location and xy coordinate of the location and average rainfall data I have uploaded this sample data sheets to Google Drive and upload the link in the description below. First I am going to prepare a map for first monsoon. First you can open ArcMap window. Then you can set the relevant coordinate system and units with respect to your country. By right click on this layers, then click on properties. Then go to coordinate system. Here I am going to choose the coordinate system as SLD99. Then click apply OK. And also I am going to change the units of the document by right click on layers. Then go to properties. Click on general tab and you can change the units and display units from here. I am going to keep the display unit as meters then click on apply ok now click on search tab then type as excel to table then click on search here you can choose the excel to table tool here the input excel file should be changed as first monsoon then click on open the output table location can be set as default then click ok after preparing the table you can see the attributes of these points here you can see the location name and xy coordinates and average rainfall of here now we should plot the xy coordinates of these points to do that right click on table then click on display xy data the x feet should be set as x coordinate and the y field should be set as y coordinate in here you can change the coordinate system then click ok now all the points have been added to arcmap window and it's better to export this as a shape file for your home folder to do that right click on this point layer then click on data export data here you can choose the folder location and give a name now I am going to remove the all layers You can open the attribute table of the first monsoon point and see the average rainfall of the points from this column. Then I am going to add the country outline for this map because the rainfall data should be clipped to the country outline. Click on add data and browse the location. You can add the country outline for this map.
Then I am going to do an interpolation of this average rainfall data. Here I am going to choose IDW method for this interpolation. So go to search tab and type as IDW. Click on search. This inverse distance weighting helps to determine near cell values using linear weighted combination of sample points. So click on IDW 3D Analyst tool. Here the input point feature should be set as first monsoon point and the Z value should be set as average rainfall column and the other settings can be keep as default then click on environments tab here the processing extent should be changed as same as layer country outline and you should change the settings of raster analysis tab here the mask should be assigned as country outline then click ok now the idw has created an it's automatically clipped to the shape of country outline. You can study about this IDW 3D Analyst tool by changing the other settings of the previous dialog box and get an idea about how to manage the tool. Here you can see this IDW has been divided into 9 equal interval classes of average rainfall values. We can change the number of classes and the color ramp with respect to our requirements. To do that, click on the raster layer, then go to properties. In the layer properties dialog box, you can choose the symbology tab. Here, I am going to change the number of classes as 10. Under this classify tab, you can change the classification method. Here, I am going to choose the classification method as e equal interval and the number of classes into 10 then click ok here I am going to choose the color ramp to a blue range so the minimum rainfall areas appear in light blue and increasing the rainfall the color getting dark then click again apply ok now you can clearly see the first monsoon average rainfall interpolation all over the country. We can add other essential things to this map layout and export a quality map like this. Please refer my creating map layout video for getting initial knowledge about preparing a map layout like this. Then I will going to turn off all these layers and prepare second monsoon rainfall map. First, you should plot the data collecting points with respect to second monsoon rainfall data. This is the second monsoon rainfall data. It's a sheet. Here I am going to plot the location with respect to this x and y coordinate. This is the second inter monsoon rainfall map that I have prepared. Okay, this is the two maps which I have prepared with respect to two monsoon rainfall data. In the first map, you can easily get an idea about the interpolation of rainfall. Entire south and west parts of the country and the hill country receiving more than 200 mm of rainfall over most parts of this island receiving below 200 mm rainfall. In the second map, you can see the most southwestern part of the country receiving around more than 300 mm rainfall. Lowest rainfall figures are shown in north and northeastern region of the island. That's why this second monsoon known as southwest monsoon season. Likewise, you can prepare four rainfall maps for all monsoon periods and study about the receiving rainfall data during the year. The maps will help you in analyzing rainfall data in various kinds of areas in the country. It will be helpful in decision making situations regarding agriculture purposes, industrial purposes and other construction purposes. Not at all, you can use this analysis in disaster management and projects relevant to sustainable development. 
hope you have gained your knowledge regarding rainfall data interpolation and the applications of this kind of analysis. This lesson also done by a request of our channel subscriber and if you also have any suggestion leave a comment in comment section because we prepare these lessons for your education purposes. So keep join with SLGIS assistant YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe us.